Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. So uh, we're going to be talking about the full moon in Libra. This is a really big full moon for everyone. Um, we're going to talk about what full moons are, and then I'm going to go over each, uh, how it's going to affect you in each sign. So welcome, welcome, everyone. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Cindy. I am the modern day spiritual advisor. I use multiple modalities, including tarot, astrology, mediumship, uh, holistic life coaching, uh, to help you on your path. So, um, I know qu people had questions before I started, before I start, people had questions cause I went live, uh, about when I'm going live and, uh, what time I'm going live. And so the best way for you to do that, to know when I'm going live is to subscribe, click that bell so that you get notified when I go live. Otherwise they won't notify you. So, or you're kind of taking a chance cause I think they only do like 10%. Of your viewers and maybe four percent I don't even know it's like a very low percentage of your actual subscribers so you have to click that bell if you want to know when I go live because I don't even know when I go live I when I have time is when I go live so uh, for those of you that are wanting dailies uh, I'm doing a very quick daily uh, for each sign um, on IG or Instagram so I'll have the links down below to follow me on all my social media uh, and you're welcome to do that because I do different things on different social medias Okay, so um, sorry, I'm gonna be looking down at the at the aspects that you guys are looking at, at the chart that you're looking at. So I won't be looking at the camera the whole time. All right, so let's talk about this full moon in Libra. The full moon in Libra is gonna be on March 31st. Um, that's in a couple of days. So I know that you guys are feeling that ramping up. Um, we have the sun in Aries right now. Um, and so with this full moon in Libra, Let's talk about what full moons are. Full moons are about completions, about endings, about um, releasing what no longer serves you, right? And so why does that even matter, right? Well, if you've heard me before and you know me, then I've said this, um, you know, this understanding of in our whole being, in our light selves, in our higher selves, we can uh, have unlimited amounts of energy run through us, right? But in, in this resonance, in this aspect of us, there's only so much that can run through our physicalness, right? And so that's the world that you create around you. That's the things that you have and the situations that you have and the people that you have around, me, around you. That's all energy running through you. And so if you are keeping uh, what no longer serves you, if you are keeping, if you're holding on to a relationship or even if you're not with that person, but you're holding on to the relationship, that's energy that you're keeping in your physicalness. And when you do that, you don't have room for your abundance because only so much can run through you. So what are you willing to release? What are you willing to let go? What are you willing to let run through you? And letting it go doesn't mean cutting it off. It just means moving on and letting it flow, letting it run through you so that you're not holding on to it. You hold on to things all the time. You hold on to your cars and your houses and your um, you, you know, your toiletries and your clothes and your, your, your coffees and everything is, is what you're holding on to. So when you have things that no longer serve you, it's a good idea to release them. And so the full moon is about releasing, about completing, about understanding, about letting go. Okay. So what's Libra about? Libra is all about relationships. Libra comes into this world understanding and if not understanding a particular type, wanting to understand relationships, relationships of all kind, relationships with your family, relationships with your siblings, relationships with your loved ones, relationships with um, your friends, relationships with your coworkers, relationships with your money, relationships with you, right? Relate like all types of relationships. That's what Libra's understanding. So this full moon in Libra is going to be about, or it's going to be focused on relationships. Now we have a whole bunch of other aspects going on. So this is March 31st. Here's Libra. So March 31st and here's Libra. And Libra uh, is going to be in, I mean, uh, the full moon is going to be in this house. And so um, how does Libra act? So Libra is a cardinal sign which is means they're a leader. So cardinal signs are all about starting new, getting it, like wanting to get it done, really leading the way, right? But, um, so you have Aries, um, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and 
Capricorn for, for a second. Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. They're all four leaders, but they all lead in different ways. Now, Libra, I've spoken on the other, on another video about how Cancer, sorry, how uh, Capricorn and Aries lead. And now I'll speak about how Libras lead. So Libras lead um, in a very diplomatic and negotiable way, right? And so Libras lead where they will get the group together and they will um, try to help everybody understand and it coming from them and where it's very diplomatic so that you can move on together, right? So when you're doing a project, Libra likes to come in. Libra already has an idea about how it should go, but Libra wants to get you involved in how it should go, right? And so that's the type of leader Libra is, where Cap uh, Capricorn and Aries are very directed. They're very, um, you know, they're not afraid to squash something and say something. They're very, they're just very direct. And Libra and Cancer are more indirect. So that's the things that are, that's kind of Libra's energy. That's what's going on. Libra in relationships, Libra wanting to understand relationships, Libra always balancing in relationships or thinking that they're balancing in relationships. They're not really sometimes, sometimes, sometimes they think balancing is giving up everything and then making sure that that person is feeling okay. And then they didn't neglect themselves. So Libra has to learn that they can't give too, too much but they can't not give it all either. So that's the type of energy that's going to be going on in this full moon. And this full moon being about completions and endings and releasing, it's going to depend on what area or what house it's in for you that it's going to um, activate or let you know what it is to release. Now I have a full moon how to release video. I'll either put it at the end of this video or put it in the description box below. Um, so. Let's talk about some of the aspects that are going on, like especially on the 31st, but this whole week, and today is the 27th. Uh, so the sun is in Aries, and Aries wants to lead too, right? So Aries is about new beginnings and uh, your ego, but see, your ego isn't a bad thing. When people are saying uh, ego, they talk about it like it's such a bad thing. It's not. An ego imbalance is a great thing. It teaches you boundaries. It teaches you what you want. It helps you give. It helps you understand the pleasures and the things that you want. That's what your ego is for, right? And with Mercury being in there, because Mercury's uh, retrograde right now, so see we have um, Mercury retrograde and the Sun right there. So they're really talking closely together. And so with Mercury retrograde, it's helping you slow down and really. Um, really process, communicate, and then express where you're wanting to go next, what you want, right? What you want, not what somebody else wants, uh, but what you're wanting, right? Well, this full moon is taking that other side of Libra and with Libra and saying, what do I need to let go? What is not serving my purpose anymore? What do I need to move on from so that I can receive my abundance? When you clear out energy, you can receive those gifts that you call to the universe, the gifts that you call to spirit, right? And so we now have Venus going uh, into Taurus, which is a great thing because it's the ruler of um, Taurus. Yeah, and Libra, actually both. So this is going to be about relationships. This is going to be about your boundaries. This is going to be about you looking at in, in this area of life, wherever it's activated, it, or this whole week actually for you. Uh, who is in my life and why are they here? And um, do I really need that person with me? Uh, am I just kind of hanging on to that person because it's comfortable? Or I think it's comfortable because it was comfortable a while back, but now it's not comfortable. And, you know, there was reciprocity before where we were giving and taking, but now I'm giving, I'm doing all the giving, and they're doing all the taking, and they're not really giving, and I'm just allowing this to happen. This is what you're kind of looking at all week, but that full moon is going to help you sort of come to a conclusion. So conclusions, completions, endings, letting go, releasing. That's what this is about, okay? So Libra, this is going to be in your first house. So this is you. Your first house is your identity. So with this full moon, we could be talking about um, divorces, separations, um, letting go, releasing. Uh, this has to do with your identity. This has to do with who you are. You are. Like when nobody's looking, who you really are, what you really want. Remember, we have this 
this uh, Sun and Mercury retrograde so it's your ego in balance it's trying to get in balance with your emotions you see how this is it's like your ego trying to get in balance with how you're feeling about your relationships how you're feeling about you how you're feeling about the people around you how you're feeling how you're feeling about how your life is going how you're feeling about your how you're looking so you know um, let's see if you in your identity if you were working on getting I mean I'll just say this because it has to do with you know your looks too so maybe you were working on uh, getting some Botox or plastic surgery or getting a haircut and you were thinking about it and you don't really know and you've been working on it and maybe you wanted this certain person to give you your haircut or this really good stylist and they cost too much money but you've been working on it and so this could be the time where that happens like in this full moon <clears throat> but or maybe um, that's that person that hairstylist you've been working with but they no longer serve you so maybe you decide to release them and go with somebody new i can see that happening like this is about endings and completions right okay so that's you in your first house but you could be talking about separations you could be talking about divorce maybe you've been working on this divorce maybe you guys are trying to be amicable and um i can see where it sort of is finally clear and you get what you want and you get an imbalance with what they want too okay so um if you're having trouble any of you i would watch that video that i did about how the steps to take to how to release what no longer serves you okay and again i'll have that at the end of this all right so uh scorpio you're next scorpio there you go scorpio you've had jupiter in there you're growing you're expanding you're learning lessons you're going deep um so scorpio you're the full moon for libra is going to be because we're dealing with relationships so it's going to be in your 12th house the 12th house is about um, past lives or when you were younger or uh, things that you kind of feel but you can't see or can't put your finger on it um, and so this is completions so completions with this full moon uh, especially in relationships this could mean if it's on your path because this has to do with being connected to the divine being connected to the universe this is where they come through is the 12th house <clears throat> that's why you never understand the 12th house completely because you're not meant to it's the connection between you and spirit you and the other side you and other dimensions right and so if it's on your path if it if you've been working diligently if you've been doing other things if you have energy I mean a uh, room in your energetic field and you're ready for a partner your partner could come through this house your partner could come and remember the full moon you can feel the energy for about two weeks later so you could have you could meet somebody you could meet somebody at this time but also you could have very vivid dreams about what's really going on and what's gone on with you and the things that you hadn't been able to see before could get very clear and you could sort of have epiphanies and then release Okay, so that could be going on in your 12th house. Um, Saggy, so next, so good luck, Scorpios. It's it's time, it's time for you guys. Um, and see where this is like 22, it's retrograde, so it's really having you go over, and it's gonna be like that for four months. So it's really having you search, it's really having you understand, it's really like having you make your choice of Jupiter is who I'm talking about. Jupiter's retrograde right now. And it's really having you go over these situations again and make sure that you're doing what you want. I won't say the right thing or the wrong thing because it's it's always a, a matter of choice, but it's about um, what you're wanting, what your soul's wanting, what you came here to experience, okay? All right, so good luck. Um, Saggies, my beautiful Saggies. So Saggies, this is going to be in your 11th house. So Libra is going to be full moon in your 11th house of social networks. Uh, this has to do with the value of your purpose because it helps the 10th house, which is your purpose, your career, what you do. Um, and so the 11th house, with the 11th house, uh, there could be some endings of um, some, you know, social groups. There could be some endings of, um, uh, and there could be some completion. So maybe when you release certain groups or you release a certain someone or you release something at work or something in your purpose uh, when you complete it 
because you could complete it too. Um, I can see where you gain because uh, the 11th house is about gains, okay? And so this is the thing with everybody. Even when you release, it's going to allow more energy to be put through you. So you're going to be gaining you're going it's gonna you're gonna feel the loss but you're ready for it it's not like a tearing loss it's like you're ready it's you're complete and then those beautiful blessings come in so sadly i can see where um you know you get a whole new respectful group um or maybe this project that you've been working on is finally ending and you're getting something bigger because this is the house of gains Okay, so that could be happening for you, Saggy, uh, but I would be looking at and working on in this full moon about really looking and saying, do I need that group? Uh, do I have the effort for that group? Uh, is that group in alignment with me? Am I like giving too much or am I not giving at all, but I'm just kind of hanging on to them? Excuse me. Because people do that all the time. I mean, look at Facebook. People are on Facebook, and sometimes you don't even know those people, but you're like, oh, okay, I'll go look every once in a while, right? Like, So you're just kind of hanging on. Um, you're not really invested, but you're just kind of hanging on. So maybe you decide to like cut some of that off or let, it's actually not cutting it off, letting it go so that other things can come in, so that your beautiful friends can come in, so that um, things in your career and your life purpose can come in. All right, Cappy, this is in your 10th house. So this, the 10th house is all about your life purpose. The 10th house is your career. The 10th house is your status and the way that people see you and the things that you do out in the world. And so this full moon, uh, you should be focusing on uh, completing things in that area. Maybe letting go, but maybe finishing up some things. Um, I kind of feel like you guys are more about finishing up the things. Now, there are things that you probably need to let go, um, maybe at work, uh, maybe there's like relationships at work that you're needing to let go. Maybe there's um, like maybe you and a coworker were really close at one time and now you just you're not, but you haven't sort of, you know, maybe you just need to like uh, complete it and, and have a discussion or something. So this has to do with your 10th house. Okay, and we're talking about relationships in all of these houses, but it can be relationships with your money. It can be relationships with your family and your friends, and it's kind of whatever area of life, right? All right, Aqua. Aquarius, this is going to be in your ninth house of belief system. So the ninth house is about what you believe and about other people's belief and how that is incorporated with your belief and higher learning, right? So you have completions going on here. So you could be completing a degree because it's higher learning. You could be completing a class. You could be completing or understanding or releasing um, a belief system that you had. Maybe you were really being stubborn and you were like, no, it's got to work this way. And, and then it doesn't. And then you understand that it doesn't. And then you kind of let it go, right? Or release it. So this is about that. I would be focusing on releasing that and maybe the way that you feel about money is this maybe the way that you see energy you you know where you have to like if i'm going to manifest i got to put more force in it or maybe i haven't done enough but then you don't what you're seeing is you're not seeing the bigger picture of all those times that you did put energy in the money bank you haven't received that yet so uh, maybe it's a bigger understanding for you Okay. All right. Pisces, this is going to be in your eighth house of other people's money. So here's Pisces. Here's the eighth house. Other people's money or the law, uh, judgments, something like that. So if you're dealing with divorces, if you're dealing with marriages, um, it's a completion. So um, you could be dealing with the court system. Uh, some of you are dealing with uh, immigration stuff. Um, and so that could be going on in there. Uh, this is about completing. This is about um, letting go of what no longer serves you. Um, and this is about relationships. Okay, Pisces. So, um, Aries, this is going to be in your seventh house. And because you have this sun here, it's going to affect you. So, we're talking about letting go of relationships that no longer serve you. And we're talking about letting go of people that are around you. Um, maybe you're dating and you're like, yeah, I don't want to let him go, but I'm not really interested, but I don't want to let him go because I know how you are. 
<laughs> so maybe you let that go. Maybe you complete that. Maybe you say, hey, we had a good time. That was that, right? So maybe if you do that, maybe the one comes in, right? Um, so this could be a time of completions for you, a time of relationships for you, but this is in your seventh house. Remember, the seventh house is about your boundaries. How are people going to... How are you going to allow people to treat you? How are you going to treat people? How do you want to be treated? How do you want people to treat you? Like this is a, this is what that seventh house is about. And so there's completions, there's understandings, there's releasing in that seventh house on this full moon. Okay, um, Taurus, this is going to be in your sixth house. So Taurus is right here. This is your sixth house of health. This is health, well-being in your day-to-day -day life. But I feel like it's more your health because it's the full moon. And it's Libra, so I'm feeling like more of um, completions with maybe you're finally taking care of yourself and your understanding, or maybe you're coming to an understanding and you begin to take care of yourself, right? Letting go of those old habits, so releasing the old habits, releasing the way that you feel about yourself, releasing, you know, the past traumas that you've had, like releasing, like finding, finally letting it go. Let me be very clear, Torians. I know what you do. You will go on with life and and think that you've released something because you've gone on with life, but you haven't released it. What you did was you put it back. You put it in the way, 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 way back, okay? And so you have this talent to be able to work, be focused, live life, and still have those things you hold on to, right? It's almost like your guilty pleasure, right um a little bit like the martyr thing going on so but what you're doing is you're just stuffing yourself and stuffing yourself full of all this energy and energy and then you just get crazy because it's too much energy running through you right and it's being packed in and packed in and packed in so you have to learn to release some of that old stuff releasing that old stuff means you go and look at it right just because you don't know with that person, just because that thing happened so long ago, doesn't mean that you're not, that you don't have it. You still have it. Some of you still do. And you have to go in there and you have to look at it and you have to release it. Okay? Because it's a choice. So, maybe in this full moon you're doing that. Maybe you're understanding that. Because what's happening, Torians, what can happen to everybody, is as you're holding, as you're holding, as you're holding, if it's toxic... For you it's got to come out somehow and that's in your health and that's why I'm feeling like your health like maybe you're releasing so your health gets better right okay so um, Gemini this is in your fifth house fifth house of love affairs so Jimmy's if y'all been playing it could be time to complete that it could be time for the one to be coming in it could be time for uh, you know with the dating the three people you may have to go down to one and let go of two others like it may be time <laughs> so we're talking about your love affairs so because this is completions and endings and releasing uh and maybe if you had a love affair and they've let it go and you haven't let it go maybe it's time to let it go that could be happening too so this has to do with your creativity and your love affair this is what this house is about so also with your creations you could be completing something and I know a lot of you are very business focused right now, very trying to get really stable in your uh, monetary gains and stuff like that. Um, so <clears throat> this could be a completion of something that you worked on. This could be something coming through that, that you had worked so hard and it wasn't going anywhere and all of a sudden it just bam comes through, right? This is something that you created. Okay, so way to go, Jimmy's. All right, my beautiful cancers. Um, so this has to do with your home your family and your lineage right so um well actually you rule this house so you know about this house so this is in your fourth house so this you could be completing something with a family member you could be completing something um yeah in your home maybe you were updating it maybe you were moving you could be completing that you could be releasing some of those things maybe you're going through your stuff and you're letting go stuff like that could be happening in your fourth house okay this has to do with your lineage too beyond your house because your home what you would learn in this house is that you ultimately you are your home 
that's what you learn in this house and so maybe you're coming to more of an understanding about that maybe you're you're really stepping into yourself right now um that could be the epiphany it has to do with relationships so it could be a rela relationship with you uh where you came from understanding you know completing and understanding where you came from and understanding that you are ultimately you you don't have to be defined by where you came from or where you grew up right so good luck cancer i would be focusing on releasing releasing and understanding okay completing um all right leo my lovely luscious lions by the way the moon is in leo today today's 27th it will be there for two and a half days so everybody's feeling playful uh everybody's feeling like um yeah childlike and playful and go with the flow like have a good time have some fun enjoy that leo energy so my lovely luscious lions this is going to be in your third house of communication of media of uh writing of uh your siblings so there could be some completions with your siblings there could be some completions in your projects for writing there could be some so i'm hearing this all big time like completions of you finally saying what you really want to say really understanding how to say it and that you are worth you telling somebody how it is that you feel when they do that to you or how you don't like that or how you do like that because some of you won't even say how you do like that so maybe there's some completions because this has to do with relationships okay all right so last but certainly not least my virgos so virgos this is going to be in your second house the second house supports the first house of uh identity so the second house is your value so you could be completing um something that you've been working on like a house or a car or a wardrobe or a uh, maybe you're trying to buy a computer uh, whatever it is that you that values you that you work hard for that you feel like you have to have or you you don't have to have but you want to have uh, because this would make me da 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 or I feel safe because I have da 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 right it's like that so you could be completing something you should maybe you're letting go of a home maybe you're letting go of a car maybe you're letting go of something we are in retrograde so um that could be happening too um yeah that's the thing that's the thing if you don't release something some things have to go they have to go because you're you're wanting this abundance and this abundance is on your like there's i have to talk about this in more detail but like there are abundances that are on your path to come in whether you believe it or not right and so it doesn't matter what you do they're going to come in and so sometimes when that comes in something else has to go Does that makes sense because it's still the law of physics right that's still law of the universe you only can have so much energy so if you were being stubborn and you didn't let go of something it could be time that it was let go it was like let go of that okay so if you want to be a conscious um manifester if you want to manifest consciously if you want to be conscious aware consciously aware of creating your world around you then you have to go in and release some things that no longer serve you otherwise it's going to be released because it's on your path to be released i'm not saying that's for everybody but they are showing me that okay so um that looks like it's going to be it I will see you guys soon. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to know when I'm going live, you got to click that bell after you subscribe, okay? And if you want to see your dailies, they're on IG. Uh, I'm at Your Indigo Path on IG. You can find me there, but I'll have the description in uh, to all my social media. I, I mean, yeah, I'll have the links to, the, to all my social media in the description box below, okay? Love you, love you, love you. Bye.